Australian Sled Dog Tours 2019 started off with a strong dump of snow. A tease compared to the normal season openings. The dogs are all in good spirits, pumped to get up onto the mountain, all the way over to Mount Buller. One by one, our musher team arrived from Sweden, Italy, Brisbane and Sydney. It was a beautiful drive, moving everything over from the valley of Hotham over to Mount Buller. All geared up, ready to go. Thanks to the usual rains that start off June each year with the uh, washing out of the trails and that, we, we all decided to turn to the carts. Everyone's enjoying a good bit of tucker. Even with all the washed out rain and the lack of snow, we're still making the most of it. We're still having fun. This is gonna be my first season. I know pretty much all the dogs. Some of them grew up with me, so I feel it's great to be back every year. Being back every year it feels like you are going back home with your brothers and everything. And uh, this slowly becomes your best friend. This one here is uh, probably my favorite one. It's hard to choose a favorite because when you work with so many dogs, you see them every day. So every day you prefer maybe a different one. But if I have to choose one, I pick Trex, this one. Because you can see it's like a, a funny fluffy boy. And uh, he's also a very good lead dog. He's a very friendly boy and he's gorgeous. Uh, starting my first season as a, as a full-time musher, um, uh, truthfully, it's just very exciting. Um, it's been, uh, yeah, nothing less than a childhood dream. And I think just to be out here and uh, living it and being able to realize those dreams is uh, it's just, just a huge blessing. And I'm really, really thankful um, just to be able to come out here and be with the dogs and the team and have an awesome time. The catalyst for me falling in love with uh, the wilderness and the sled dog adventure and, and all things alike uh, is a pretty cliche one, but it's real for me nonetheless. Uh, in year six, the first book I ever read was uh, Call of the Wild by Jack London. I am not impartial. I definitely play favorites, and uh, this is my favorite right here. This is Ninnis. Uh, there's a couple reasons I love Ninnis. Uh, he's a strong uh, all-rounder, he can run in wheel dog, or he's also a great lead dog, as I found out the other day. And also, he's got a really big head and tiny little ears. <laughs> That's why I love Ninnis. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode of Australian Sled Dog Diaries. <laughs>